sorry. The man was caught on camera flashing a rifle at a snowboarder this last winter, and he's now on probation. Court documents say Keith Stebbings agreed to a plea in abeyance of the aggravated assault charge. As new specialist Shelby Lofton tells us, he believes he was acting within his rights. Stebbings ended up taking a plea deal, but his attorney says it's the ski resort that needs to take action in order to put an end to the issue that started this whole situation in the first place. I'm sorry. Oh. A February day on the slopes for snowboarder Lauren Richardson ended with this confrontation caught on camera. He says he accidentally found himself on Keith Stebbings' property after a day at Brighton Resort. Stebbings was charged with aggravated assault and threat of violence. I think he realizes that he could have handled it much better. In June, he accepted a plea deal. Anytime you go to trial, there's a risk that the jury might not see it your way. His attorney, so Steve Burton, he... says Stebbings needs to take a gun safety course. He forfeited his gun to Unified Police. He's now supervised by a private probation agency, and he wrote an essay on deadly force in Utah, saying he was unaware that exhibiting an unloaded gun on private property was unlawful when someone is trespassing. Keith has changed his behavior. Burton says Stebbings now has no trespassing signs posted and calls the police when people break the rule. The police have told him that there's not much that they can do after the after the fact. Stebbings wrote, some of his neighbors will approach Brighton Resort about diversion mechanisms. We have delivered what's called Halloween rope, so rope that we use for our rope lines, and then bamboo that they could stick in the snow. Jared Winkler with the resort says they haven't received complaints on this issue from anyone besides Stebbings. Most people just kind of laugh about it. He said they will add more signs, but argues the trails are already clearly marked. We don't intend to stop people from skiing out because it is your national forest. Burton says Stebbings has considered moving. Unless the resort or the residents can figure out a solution, uh, skiers and snowboarders are going to continue to come down from the mountain. Stebbings probation is set to last for 36 months, but his attorney says it could last for 18 months if he follows all the requirements that are asked of him. In Brighton, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News. All right.